Hey everyone, welcome back to my latest solo trapping video. Today we're we'll be showcasing a bunch of hits on my 220 mil solo trap. Again, I am around 120 mil kills right now, or like in this video, but I do have about 260 mil kills total right now on this account, so you'll get to see a ton of clips coming from this one. Again, a lot of them will be the 1000 IQ traps like I'm doing right here, and if you do like these traps, leave a thumbs up, really helps with the video. Also, I will be showcasing the uh, Top Traps competition uh, winner right after this video, so stay tuned for that. Um, that will be going live right after this video. So anyways, uh, I'll be doing the 1000 IQ trap here. My leader is walking back. Uh, there is a tier 4, tier 5 attack coming in. Uh, plus, it looks like uh, B BZR, not BRZ, I will call them BRZ probably 20 times in this video, but BZR is coming in as well, plus uh, a couple other people uh, sending tier 1 and stuff like that. So he's sending a second attack as well, just a follow-up attack, trying to basically break my wall because a lot of these people uh when this happens they think i have a big wall or something like that because their march will go in uh their tier two march will go in and then it will basically get eaten by whatever i'll take literally zero damage so i think it's just the wall basically since they're doing zero damage there comes the rally but that'll be set up after but as this happens, uh, my uh, leader will walk back. They'll come in for the attack. Uh, think, about, think the wall is basically taking out. They'll come in for a second attack. Uh, still do zero damage. And then sometimes they'll follow up with their leader and attack or something to try and break the wall. And then they'll find out that it wasn't just a wall trap or wasn't a prison with a big wall. I actually had a bunch of troops. Then usually the rally gets set after there. Unless they're a big guild and they might try for the gangbang. That's happened a couple times as well. And that caught me off guard because I didn't think they were going to gangbang me. Uh, but yeah, if you want to go see those videos, those are the massive uh, gangbang videos I've taken on this. I did post those ones already so you get to see some action on this trap. Uh, but yeah, you can see the attacks there. Really, literally did very little damage. Looks like uh, BZR is going to come in again. Um, doing a yeah, tier 2, tier 4 attack with their uh, what's called range. Again, didn't really do much damage to me or maybe it did zero damage let's take a look yeah zero, zero damage so um, he did do damage to my wall so my wall is still up so none of those attacks did any damage actually so it looks like the tier four tier five attack also did zero damage to me as well so again this is a very strong setup and i also don't need to sit in gear so the gear on uh this trap is basically only for rallies um it is set up like a rain trap so i can take rallies on the account uh but when i don't have rain i usually just solo trap on it or um especially if i'm in a big kingdom like like if I'm in a smaller kingdom and people want to try rally me, I'll take the rally without reins, uh, but it better be a bad rally lead or not a proper rally lead who's like 800 plus percent. Uh, those ones hurt and I want, I'll want reins for those, but the normal ones I don't need them. So uh, it looks like uh, this guy is going to be sending tier four, tier five as well. Uh, just a range attack. Again, no leader, but again, they don't think I have any troops. That's why they're attacking me in the first place. I think I'm an empty castle with my leader walking back. So they just go in and they try and steal that leader and you kind of get random attacks. So you get anything from tier 1 to tier 5. Um, usually it doesn't have their leader, but sometimes they do send their leader. Uh, sometimes they'll uh, hit you once or twice or 10 times and not realize what's going on because they're super confused why what's going on. They don't think you have any troops, so why are they <laughs> taking it out? I'm going to switch back to uh, range because I, I was only sitting in infantry because the person was sending a range blast. But as soon as I saw that person attack and I didn't know what he was sending, I'll switch to range right away because I will sit in range. It's my strongest stuff. Uh, uh, phalanx i'm set up for that um unless i have rain then i'll be in infantry obviously because i'm an infantry rain trap otherwise i'll be sitting in range uh this guy's going in for a second attack uh, again range as well so i'll just sit in range anyways they're not really gonna do much damage um even if they do sometimes i actually want them to do damage so i'll purposely counter myself sometimes to make it look like they can do damage to me and then I'll uh, switch it later, obviously, when they go over the gangbang or something like that. So I've beaten a gangbang a couple times that way, um, just purposely getting countered, uh, getting them to do a ton of damage to me, not healing or anything like that. I'll even take a little bit of red sometimes uh, just for the extra kills because uh, the Sanctuary will save my troops. It won't save theirs. So if I'm taking some reds, it's fine because I'm only, only losing like 20% and they're tier two anyways. They're super cheap to heal up. So if I'm losing like, let's say 100,000 tier 2, not a big deal, because um, I'm only technically losing 20,000 of those, and that's like, what, like 
uh, two days worth of speed ups. That's it. So, and then you basically get a bunch of tier four, tier five kills from that, or extra tier four, tier five kills from that. So this one's just gonna be a little farming attack as well. Uh, he's going three hundred thousand uh, tier two uh, cav at me. Uh, basically trying to time it when my leader comes back. So my leader's walking back. I, I have the sped up a little bit. That's why my leader's walking so fast. Uh, but yeah, the guy's gonna go ahead and try and time it. Uh, didn't time it quite well, um, but he did was a couple seconds off. So it looks like uh, Molag, Molang, Molang went in there tier. Uh, two cav 300,000 lost 120,000 tier two um that one those don't go, don't go into your your uh, sanctuary so those are actually lost troops so that's a little bit of expensive um losing tier two like that but i guess for the big guys it's not too bad for me i don't want to lose 120,000 if i'm not getting anything in in return like a bunch of free kills uh but uh for him yeah 120,000 is probably nothing because he's a he's a big guy anyways and tier two is nothing for them um anyway so i'm gonna get some more free kills here again i'm just sending my leader through a uh what's the called a rally party that's going on so um it looks like i think someone recalled as well but that guy didn't it looks like lost boy's gonna go in there um didn't i'm not sure if i dropped any might there i might have not dropped any might on that one uh so we'll take a look at that and oh yeah it looks like i was in lhg and they uh noticed that it was me because sometimes i'll uh jump into yeah it was just tier two he lost eighty thousand there but yeah sometimes i'll just jump into uh random guilds uh just to uh trap and stuff like that so i guess this guy noticed my nickname there so um it's kind of cool sometimes they'll notice me sometimes they don't uh, a lot of times like they actually don't know it's me so i just jump into their guild for a trap it looks like golden tongue is going to come in here again um i do have a rally set at me at this point so um i think they just started a rally here I'm not sure what was going on, and I think I'm... Did I port away, or did they just start a rally from far? I am i can't remember the situation here, but yeah. Uh, Golden Tongue went there, tier 5, tier 2. Uh, did a little bit of damage. Um, again, I am sitting in range, so the tier 5 infantry will do a little bit of damage to me, but not really for that much. So he lost a bunch of tier 2, had to heal those tier 5. He's going to port next to me now. Uh, he's going to scout my... Ch my uh, Thing to see if anything's going on they are in the guild that's rallying me so there is a rally again set on me at this point so keep that in mind during this whole uh this whole interchange there that there is a rally set on me so i also am keeping that in mind i was thinking of porting away but then i realized uh, norse cleft is coming in here norse cleft is actually a mythic champ i did not realize that when he hit me at this point i was like oh that dropped me quite a bit. I was like, oh, geez. Um, oh, uh, well, how did he do so much damage? I wasn't expecting that. And then it looks like Golden Tongue is going to come in as well. I haven't healed at all. I was going to actually throw on to my, uh, my war gear. I decided to throw on my speed gear instead. Um, again, I don't want to scare them away with my war gear because my war gear is a little bit scary. It's not like my free-to-play trap or my free-to-play gear. I do, <laughs> I do have a gold and purple level 60 with a, I think, a mythic sword at this point. So, I am slow healing on purpose here, um, just to get them to send more attacks at me. Um, I did heal that one before those attacks, but I'm not going to heal this one. Um, it looks like Norse Club decided to recall. Um, but uh, Golden Tongue didn't recall, but I think he saw the heal, that's why he recalled. So I tried to heal at the last second, but um, I was a little too fast in the heal. I didn't really time it perfectly. I don't think Norse Club would have, uh, what's called... Uh, recalled but again i do have the shield right now because the coalition's coming in and i did keep that in mind during this gangbang i did know the coalition and i had that uh, time in my mind so when the uh, coalition started coming in i'm going to shield right away or they would probably carpet it again i do not want to take a rally right now i haven't taken a rally on this count yet at this point so i wasn't sure how well it would do especially without reins again and i know mr hanky does have pretty good attacks so i didn't want to take that one but i did take all these ones um i did realize later that norse Clef was uh uh, a little bit stronger than I thought he was and I uh, was like I don't even think I've looked at his gear yet so I was just like what wh why was he doing so much damage so that's golden tongue he's got uh, max stars actually Norse Clef has mythic champ and three mythic cups I was like oh no wonder he did so much damage and I got full countered on that one so um, I'm just getting pirates right now. I'm not actually getting attacked, but um, there's some noob. He actually has quite good gear too. For 700 mil, he's got quite good gear, so he could be pretty sneaky with that uh, gear if he was uh, throwing some fake gear on. But yeah, you can see he did almost 500,000, 496, I think. Uh, he did 334,000 my front line with that full counter, tier 5, tier 4. Uh, he has double 11k heroes as well, but unfortunately he got his leader back. It looks like he... I wasn't sure if it was a bunny or... Uh, 
I think it was, it might have been just Helldrider. It might have been just unlucky that he got his leader back. But it was a really good take. I got to uh, try out some stuff. Didn't take very many losses. Um, did take a little bit, but that's fine. Again, it goes into the Sanctuary. I'll just heal those up. And I was like, wow, I didn't realize you were a uh, Mythic Champ. Um, I, I might have actually uh, panicked that changed to my war gear if I knew he was Mythic Champ. Um, I did just throw on my speed gear. It does have a little bit better... Um, I, I think I throw on my spear a little late there, but anyways, uh, but yeah, that's kind of how much uh, damage he would do on a full counter. Um, this was, uh, looks like Golden Tongue went in here. He went in Cab, so yeah, Cab doesn't do very much damage. Again, only did like 25,000 to my front line, so not a big deal. Actually, I'm not sure if he did any to my front line. It might, might have been actually just this Tier 5 familiar. So this is the second attack. Uh, he went Tier 5, Tier 4. Uh, nope, yeah, see, all that damage was in my back line. So you can see the Reptilian Riders got hit there. That was from his Tier 5 familiars because he went uh, full cav, uh, what's called, uh, with his leader and all that. But again, he did 124,000 with his familiars and only like 20,000 with his actual attack. So his his tier 4, tier 5 cav blast did about 24,000. And then his familiars did 124,000 to my back line. It's just the tier 5. It's like, wow, okay, those aren't overpowered at all. <laughs> Doing more damage, like, what is it, like five times more damage than his actual troops did, his uh, familiars did. So this guy's going to be speeding up and fortunately sending... Uh, Cab, so that's literally going to do nothing to me but <laughs> you can see his gear is pretty good uh, uh, he didn't actually send his leader or anything like that we'll take a look what he did here 24,000 so he did about as much damage as uh oh that's because they only did a thousand to my front line and 22,000 with his familiar so again here leaderless attack uh did a thousand damage with his actual troops and then 24,000 with his familiars so again that's the auto damage from the familiars can't really do much about that actually there was one point you if he doesn't actually break my wall and you can take zero damage from tier five familiars i found out because they'll attack your range on your wall and if you take out all the troops before they take out the wall they literally familiars do no damage so i found that out that you can take zero damage from tier five familiars if you kill the troops like instantly which i've done before so anyways this guy's gonna go in for the farming attack as well uh this was during a pardon so this is the best time to do thousand iq trap so keep this in mind if you're ever in a kingdom and a pardon happens do the thousand iq trap it is hilarious how many people can hit you um sometimes i've had like 10 people hit me at one point uh this one's a little bit less but yeah um that's only if they see your leader walking back <laughs> that it works and uh this point i don't think uh, I don't think a lot of people saw it, so uh, he decided to send 200,000 cab there, decided to send a follow-up attack, realized his attack didn't work, so he's going to send his leader in cab, so he's speeding this up really, really fast. Here, here it comes, coming at me, and boom, and yes, he just gets capped right away, did zero damage as well. So uh, both attacks, I believe, did zero damage. Yeah, that one, that one did zero damage, literally zero damage, nothing to my wall. I'll show you the uh, replay at the end to see how what how it happened, but uh, you can see, I think that was, I think he had tier five familiars in there too, and he did literally zero damage yeah so yeah he did a <laughs> tier five hit and did a whole zero damage to me so now i have his leader and the, the funny part is i was in the middle of going to migrate so uh right before this i decided i was going to migrate uh because i had enough in this kingdom i've been here long enough so i was about to migrate anyway so i got a leader so i was like oh perfect time to migrate with a leader so um this is always what i try to do before i migrate get a couple leaders so i'll migrate with the leader and uh basically take it with me get get a ransom and that's what ended up happening i probably got a ransom from this um just because of that so um ended up uh canceling the rally because again they rallied me decided to uh pour it away and they uh yeah so you'll you'll yeah <laughs> basically pour it away so um they didn't get the leader back so i was like poof <laughs> there goes their leader um in another kingdom now so uh was my like again i was going to go migrate with my uh, guild but yeah you can see here so um this is the attack here with his tier five here you can see my uh my things are attacking here comes his oh wait this griffin maybe he doesn't have tier five familiars Okay, maybe this wasn't the one, but uh, I do have a clip of me uh, basically taking zero damage from tier 5 familiars because the same thing happened. I was able to take out all their cav with my with my range on my wall, so they attacked the uh, range on the wall, but for some reason the tier 5 familiars did zero damage to the range on the wall, so I ended up taking zero damage, even though it hit, they had tier 5 familiars, and it's supposed to be auto damage, but it didn't do anything. So that's how you counter tier 5 familiars. 
Um, you basically take out the troops before they even take your wall down and they won't do any damage. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, this was just a farming attack again. I just missed it on the uh, the recorder, so I just kind of threw up the uh, thing. My leader was walking back. So, um, anyway, so that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, what's called 220 mil solo trap. You can see trapping is just a, is a uh, state of mind. So you don't really need to be a certain might or anything like that. Uh, if you want to be a 1.7 bill might solo trap. Go ahead, as long as you can abate the attacks, um, you're basically a solo trap. That's how it is. It's all solo trapping is. Might is just a bait, remember that. So um, might is just a way to bait people um, to hit you. So if you're lower might, you're more likely to get hit um, by just sitting around and being a low might castle, people are more likely to hit you. For me, I like to bait people. So uh, uh, being a low might castle is not something I need to be. I just be a high might castle and bait solo traps and get a hundred million kills or 200 million kills doing that on a bigger attack here so um the background here is just uh, sugar lame smashing somebody uh with a rally so anyways uh, i will be uh doing the uh top traps competition winner after this so stay tuned for that anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one